Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and one of our latest projects. Here we have just finished a International Mutoscope crane. We're going to date this somewhere between the 1920s and 1930s. Uh, International Mutoscope made many different versions of the crane and you can see it as it changes through the years. Um, this one is uh, screaming Art Deco with all its streamlining on it. Um, typically, we would have all these castings completely re-chrome plated, though they were never chrome. Uh, I've, I've plated them many times, but uh, they are originally aluminum, and we left them that, that way, and uh, all these were polished back to its original condition. Um, a lot of time, but uh, boy, what a difference it made from uh, the first pictures of this machine if you've been following us on YouTube or Facebook. Yes, the building you see in the back is the Empire State Building. And uh, we have a bunch of little toys inside there. Um, typically, uh, the machine would have gravel somewhere around about two inches off the top here, and uh, the toys would be on top. And uh, let's come around the side here. Here you have on the left, this is just a kind of like a tower where you could put some, you know, uh, an excess of toys can go inside here so they can spill out into the play field. And on the right side, we have a gum vendor. That was an optional thing. Um, it turned this machine basically, some places did not want it in their uh, places because it's basically gambling. You are gambling to get a toy or get, uh, in this case, it's a toy. But uh, in the places they were, in the fancy hotels, you better believe it, they had money inside there. Silver dollars, um, rolled up uh, $20 bills. It could have been anything in there. So it really was gambling. For a nickel, you got a chance to grab something of higher quality. But um, to go around the whole gambling idea, Metoscope said, okay, we'll get around that. And in the right side here, and you'll see in the in the uh, next little video, is there is a gumball hopper inside there. That thing is filled with gumballs. And each time you play, you get three or four gumballs. So now you've taken a gambling device, and now you turned it into a vendor. So that is how they got around uh, that whole issue. And uh, that's where you would uh, find these. You would find them... Uh, other ones similar because uh, there are some mutoscope cranes that are very, very plain. And those you'd find on the boardwalk. This one, however, you'd find at your fancy hotel. Um, yes, they are all plated and shiny and they're, they're meant to ex entice, excite someone to walk up to it and say, wow, what's going on in there? What is that machine? And um, that's why they spent the time and um, polished all these. In fact, up here, you can see in the mechanism, that is all nickel-plated metal. Even at that time in the early 20s, that had to have taken time because you just don't plate metal. It has to be polished. It has to be copper, uh, acid copper on it first, then nickel. Uh, so it's a long process and expensive. But they did this just to dazzle you, this piece of jewelry. What's going on in here? And uh, that's exactly what we brought it back to, uh, a piece of jewelry and excite excitement so that somebody can, you know, gamble away here and uh, get some of our uh, plastic, uh, plastic silver dollars we have in there. Uh, you would uh, put your nickel in, five cents, and here on your control handle, you would turn either far left or far right. You would choose the, the toy that you'd want. And... You would look at the dial up on the top right corner here, and I'll zoom into it. It'll say front, uh, it's called uh, this indicator, front and right. And as you go back and forth, it's telling you that the rear, it's going right here on the rear of the opening, and front would be right up against the glass. And, you know, people play these things, and they're like, oh, wow, I, can't, I couldn't get it. I can't, you know, I can't seem to get that airplane or whatever might be in here. The whole point is you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to go home with this toy or anything. But uh, 
you're, you're enticed to try it, to play it, to um, give it a go and um, put your money in there without them giving you anything except for four gumballs. Let's take a look on the inside. And here we are inside the crane. As you can see, we have a 50,556 plays on this crane over the years. And this is the coin mechanism. Up on top, your coin slide drops the nickel, comes through and it triggers a little finger. And in this finger is set gingerly with a, a spring just enough to drop this finger down and in turn, when it drops that finger down, it unlocks this little lever here, allowing the machine to bring this arm to let these two copper pieces touch. And when they touch, obviously the machine starts. And as the machine does its operation through its levers, this chain will loose, but by the time that the operation's over, this chain will tighten up again and pull this piece right back. So let's kind of do that. I'll just kind of push this down here. Okay, you see our chain loosen. Now the crane right now is actually in operation. Fingers are pulling and you're gonna see this chain tighten up again and it's gonna bring it right back to the lock. There you have it and it is over. So as simple as it looks, somebody spent a lot of time trying to engineer this um, this coin mechanism. Pretty cool. Uh, later on, uh, or maybe at the same time, um, Mutoscope also made another um, uh, coin mech and they used a mercury switch. Basically the same thing, your finger pushed down on a, um, on a piece of... Um, on a spring, it pushed this down and in turn, it tripped a little tube with mercury in there. And as it went one way or the other way, it turned the machine on and then it got reset to turn it off. Let me come around to the other side here and show you something else. Over here is your mechanism that allows you to grab your goodies if you are lucky. But, um, this wasn't, uh, wasn't all here when uh, we got this crane. Uh, I noticed a hole right inside there, and I haven't come across a, a, um, a crane that had the hole there, or maybe I did and didn't know what it was for. But um, what that is for, with all the excitement of what's inside there and to attract people, uh, everyone's a winner. Everybody gets a prize. So. Uh, what happened is after every single time someone put some money in there, it went and it delivered four gumballs. And it delivered them through this little trough up here. And it came down this little chute and went into your hopper, which I'm going to show you right in here as I lift this up. It's a little hopper filled with gumballs. And there's a little mechanism in there that lifts them up and allows it to push out approximately three to four gumballs for each nickel that's put in here. So as you're playing, you're getting a little excitement because just like nowadays, everybody gets a choke. So there you have it. And we can look inside here. And this little scoop here is kind of meant to deflect um, your toys or let's say your kazoo here if um, you actually win one but it also was a kind of a scoop for gravel 
inside this machine, usually um, it would be filled up to about one or two inches, filled with gravel, colored gravel. This one might could be kind of neat with some black gravel in there. And on top of the gravel, they put all the toys. And uh, from time to time, as this claw would pick things up, some of that gravel would uh, obviously get um, in with the toys and it would come in and it would kind of hit this little scoop here. And inside the machine, right here at the bottom, you got this tray. And that tray is where all the extra gravel and stuff would go. And the toy would be inside your uh, compartment where you'd actually pull out. Here on the left, we still have to make a coin box and um, we'll get around to that. But um, also down here in the bottom, you can store all your goodies. These are the two goodies that were actually found inside this machine uh, when we got it and it's gonna go right home with it. So let's see this whole thing in operation. Well, enough talking about it, let's put it into action. So let me put my nickel in here. And if you do have one of these, try to always use your Buffalo nickels. They slide much better because there's not such a high ridge like our modern day nickel. And that's why these things tend to jam from time to time, especially when people still put these on locations, you'll still find them sometimes. Uh, obviously not like this in this condition, but um, you'll see them out there and they don't work because somebody's jammed probably a nickel or a quarter into them. Um, so let's, uh, we're going to put our nickel in, but before that, if you, uh, notice there's, uh, instructions, um, swing the boom of the crane and uh, you basically will go, like I said, left to right. And let's just kind of, let me see if I go for that yellow airplane. So I am going to, uh, set that up and I want to go. To the front because that's where the airplane is and i am going to kind of go to the front here and uh, put my money in because once you put your money in there you, know, you cannot operate it it locks you out so here we go no 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 maybe oh let's try that again Oh, but we didn't get anything, but we did get four gumballs. So let's try that one more time. But I'm going to go over a little bit. Um, I'm going to go over a little bit further to the left. Let's see if I can't get onto the. All right, so we'll put it. We'll give it another shot. Oh, that looked pretty good. Razzle dazzle. Let's see if we can do it. Whoa, we got it. That's pretty cool. Open it up. And you can hear our gumballs came back down there. And here you go. Razzle dazzle. There you have it. Well, if you have one of these machines for sale or you need one restored, please give us a call. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching. And make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see all the new machines coming to the warehouse. Thanks for watching.